try and separate a countryman from his bear and you're asking for trouble. Well, that's just what's happened here in the little Herefordshire village of Lions Hall. They've got two pubs. One's the Maidenhead, the other the Royal George. Now, the same brewers own both pubs and they want to close the Maidenhead. With what result, we'll find out from Bob Bowen, the licensee. What's going to be argued? Bob. Yes, sir. What do your customers think of this proposal to close the pub? Oh, well, not very much, actually. Why not? Why don't they like it? Well, I mean, there, there's still room for two pubs in Lions Hall. Why do the brewers want to close the Maidenhead? Well, oh, oh, in the sanitation, I think. But I, uh, in due course, uh, the, the sanitation is coming through Lions Hall. What's going to happen to your customers when the pub's closed? Where are they going then? Well, there's vehicles on the road, they'll travel. I don't, I don't think they'll use the Royal George as much as... Uh, you I don't, don't think so? No. How far are they going to have to go? Three miles, Titley, new pub just been opened. They tell me, Bob, that there are some people in Lions Hall that have never been <coughs> into the Royal George. Is yes. that true? So I understand, yes. Mm. Why is that, do you think? Well, I don't know. I suppose it's a difference in company. I see. What? bit noisy over there, is it? No, no, I wouldn't say that. I uh, just uh, family feelings, like. I see. Bob, it sounds to me as though you're being a bit diplomatic. Let's have a word with one of the customers, shall yes, we? Yes, 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 yes. Mrs. Egerton, are you upset about this? Of course I'm upset about it. Why? Well, why should we have the maiden head closed after all these years? Do you prefer to come here? Definitely so. And why don't you like the Royal George? Well, there's too many teenagers, too much row, and we want a nice quiet drink, and we want somewhere where we can have a bit of appreciation. There's two sides to every argument, and there's two sides to this one. Let's go over and get the other from Andy Sorby, who keeps the Royal George. Mr Sorby, I've been told across the road that some of the customers of the Maidenhead prefer that pub because they think it's too noisy in the Royal George. What have you got to say about that? <coughs> well, as regards the noise, sir, we have a room here and we have a record player and we sometimes bring in music at the weekend, but we have a room here for the youngsters and when the noise is a bit loud, we confine it to that room and the bar here is for the older people to enjoy their drink in peace and quiet. I we see. cater for both classes. I see. What do you think about the closure? Well, as far as the closure of the Maidenhead goes, I'd hate to see the landlord go because he's a very good friend of mine. But as far as the pub goes, I mean, I'm no, I've got no thoughts on that matter because my, I've got my own trade here in the uh, Royal George. Do you think you will be able to get all the people of Lions Hall who want to drink into your bar? I will do when the brewery have decided that they're going to alter this pub and make this bar bigger, take in one of these rooms, and I'm quite sure I will have room. Do you think it's too noisy? No, I don't. Well, I don't like a lot of the company across the Maidenhead. I like the atmosphere here. There's plenty of room. Well, here's something they haven't got at the Maidenhead. 